This dress is short and my butt sticking to the chair. What's going on YouTube? It's your friend Jess and today is super duper exciting because we got our boxy charm for August. Boxy Charm is here, Boxy Charm is here. You guys know that out of my three subscription beauty bags that I get, that Boxy Charm is by far my favorite. It is the more expensive one, usually being 20 bucks a month. I paid $118 for six months, so I've got six months of it coming my way. Super excited! But you get full size, brand name, really amazing products in here. Not just makeup, but skincare and hair care too. I am really pumped to see what we got this month. I got this box before my Ipsy and Birchbox even sent me an email that they were on their way or arriving. So BoxyCharm beat them out in terms of timing this month as well. Every month when I get my boxy charm, I scream real loud like a burglar alarm. Guys, I don't want to waste any more time. I'm that excited to just tear into this box. I want to see what I got and I want to start using and swatching some of those products. So let's dive in to BoxyCharm for August 2018. So excited! Make sure you guys check out all of my previous Boxy Charm reviews and unboxings. I will make sure to put a link in the description down below, and I will also stick a card up right about here for you guys. So clickety clack on that and check it out and see if this is a subscription box for you. I know they just upgraded too. They have something now called Boxy Lux, where you can pay an additional amount and get more luxurious products every month. I don't know if I want to splurge with that yet. I'm really, really happy with what I've been getting every month as is, but I'm going to leave those details down below for you guys too so you can check that out. And maybe it's something I'll do in the future. I was kind of thinking of adding yet another subscription box on to my monthly unboxings. We've got Ipsy, Birchbox, and BoxyCharm. Anything else but Sephora Play. You guys let me know what you think is the best. Somebody suggested last month FabFitFun. It's a little pricey for me. I'd like to stay within $20 and under. So. Let me know what you guys got. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm in like an extra positive mood today. I don't know if it's, I feel really good about how my makeup turned out. How about you guys? But something in me, something in my soul is telling me that this box is gonna be super amazing. I don't know if I'm just expecting too much. Jess, you always kind of expect too much. You're right, Jess. You're right. But I don't care, my heart is filled with excitement, so let's dive in together and pull out the first product and see what we got. You guys know the deal, I never look at the little card that tells me anything that's in the box already, I never open up any spoiler emails because I don't want to know, I want to be surprised with you guys. Here we go, first product out. Ooh, I'm feeling a couple of small boxes. Let's pull out a small square first, what do we have here? Who knows? Bang Beauty. I have no idea what this is. Let's check it out. This is the Bang Beauty Gel Eyeliner in the color Chocolate. Mmm. You guys, when it comes to eyeliner, I don't really use gel unless I'm working on a client. The reason for that being, I feel like it smudges too easily unless you set it with powder, and I ain't always got time for that. For me personally, I much prefer either a pencil or even more so than that, a felt tip. By the way, if you guys have not tried the new Fenty Fly Liner. Ugh. Go to Sephora right now, swatch it on your hand, you'll see what your girl is saying. This is the packaging right here for the Bang Beauty. I actually love this packaging. It feels like it's glass or it's a super heavy duty plastic. It has a nice little metallic lid right here and it's heavy. So it feels like nice luxury makeup. This is probably more expensive than what I'm gonna expect after we swatch it, but let's crack her open and take a look and see what she looks like. She's a little sweaty. To be fair, so am I. Ugh, oh, Jess, God forbid you have a clean brush. All right, guys, I found a brush that is remotely clean, so we're gonna go ahead and use that. Let's just dip in and kind of see, ooh. Okay, so it looks very smooth, very creamy. This almost reminds me more of an eyebrow gel over an eyeliner gel. Let's go ahead and swatch this and see what we think. Here we go. Oh, no. Mm-mm. You see, guys, how easily that kind of chunks up and spreads around. I don't know if you can see the chunkiness in there. Maybe I got too much product. Jess, let's not be too harsh. Let's get a tinier brush and try something different. Let's try to use a smaller brush, one that somebody would probably use to put on gel eyeliner. I usually would use an angled brush and then do a lot of cleaning up with concealer after putting on powder. Again, why I don't like gel liner. But let's try it with a smaller brush and see what the T is there. It's definitely a little better, but it, 
but it looks like poo. Come on guys, back me up here. Does this not look like doo-doo? Have you seen the nutty brown, Kyle? I don't know, the way it chunks up and flakes and it's really, really light, I definitely can see myself using this either in an eyebrow or I would use this as an eyeshadow, like a cream shadow. I think that it would work really nicely for that. It actually blends out really cute. Nope, that's all lies. Oh my god, it's already dry. Look at this. She's dry. She's not going anywhere. She's chunky and ugly. Bang, beauty. I'm not a fan, you guys. I'm not a fan. This is going to be put away and given to somebody else. On the plus side, it sure doesn't want to come off. My arm's literally squeaking from cleaning it so much. That's enough of that. So first product out of the gate, not that great. Sorry, BoxyCharm, but we have a lot of other opportunities in this box. Maybe my feelings at the beginning of this video were wrong. Maybe my heart was just too full. We're gonna find out. Let's dig in and get something else and see if it beats the Bang Beauty eyeliner garbage. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? Oh, yes! Guys, this is the Smashbox Be Legendary Triple Lipstick. Triple, triple Tone Lipstick, that's what it is. Insta Ombre. <gasps> You guys know I love an ombre lip, and this is something that will supposedly pull it off right away automatically. Is there a color name on here? This is called Sunset Ombre. It's giving me an orange, pink, and purple kind of vibe. Um, looks familiar. Ooh. It's Smashbox, you guys. We know them. They're a little bit higher end. Their packaging, of course, is going to be nice. Let's see what this thing looks like. It just says Sunset Ombre. Oh, what is this? That is insane. This reminds me of those old school rainbow pencils that you would use and it would create like three to four different colors at once and then sometimes it would run out of one color and change. That's what this looks like. I can't imagine how this would ombre your lips perfectly. We're gonna have to test this out on Snapchat, you guys. So make sure that you are connected with me there so you can see if this looks absolutely insane or if it does something good. Either way, let's go ahead and swatch it and see what it looks like. Let's use this arm this time. Let's just do one line across and see what we get here. It's a literal little rainbow of colors here, you guys. I mean, you can definitely see all three colors separately. It looks really pretty, actually. I love how it comes out. So I'm very excited to try this out on my lips. I will tell you that I am doubting very much the ability for this to ombre on its own. Let's try using a brush to see if we can fluff it out and see what we get. So for me guys, just using a brush to fluff it out is something that I would normally do when I'm doing an ombre lip or when I'm wanting to really kind of blend the lipstick in. And I think you guys can tell here that the light purple is really not offering much for the ombre. If anything, in my opinion, maybe the purple and the orange should have been swapped. It almost looks like there's just a white line going across the center. So again, make sure that you guys check it out on Snapchat and Instagram. I'll make sure to put it up on both so we can see if this really works on our mouth or if it looks like a rainbow trash hole. Do your lips with all the colors of the mountain. No. So I can't really say anything negative about this yet until I actually try it on my lips to see if it will produce a true ombre effect, but for now I'm kind of up in the air about that too. This is what I get for getting excited before filming, you guys. I was really pumped thinking, wow, Jeff, everything that you get is gonna be amazing. But I guess I was wrong. We're gonna have to keep on going and see what else is in this box. Let's see what I can pull out next. What do we got here? What are you? Ooh, this is sweet almond cuticle oil for nails. You guys can see, not only do I not paint my nails, I know, what kind of beauty guru are you, Jess? But I do chew my nails and my cuticles, so this is something I could definitely get some use out of. Let me give this a whirl. It just says age-defying nail treatment essentials. Let's open her up and see what it's all about. Oh, it's just like a nail polish bottle. Does this dry? directions hello there are no directions on this you guys so I'm just gonna do what I see them do at the nail salon I'm just gonna put a little bit of this onto one of my worst fingers oof the middle she is not looking cute actually let's just do this whole hand here I'm just kind of swipey swiping it all over the place without care if I may just to kind of see what it's all about I'm gonna let that soak in and then we will compare hands 
in a little bit. This product I'm not mad at. This is definitely something I can use. Just working in the makeup industry and with my other job working in food, I'm not allowed to have nail polish on or really do anything wacky or crazy by wearing fake nails. And again, just with my anxiety issues, I do a lot of so I'm hoping that this is something that will really, really be helpful to me. I've been really self-conscious about my hands and how they look. You guys know, I get cuts all over them. I get burns, I get bruises. So for me, anything where I can heal this situation, A plus in my book. All right, you guys, let's feel. I've got three more things that I'm feeling in here. One is a packet. Ooh, it's two, it's two packets, but they feel identical to me. So I'm gonna pull them out at the same time. What do we have? It's Wonder Beauty again. Three, okay. So we're not gonna complain about this, guys. Wander Beauty for me is really hit or miss. I got their Galotion here. I really did not love this stuff. Not great for the face. Much better for the body. You guys hear that? That's thunder. Thunder, feel the thunder. Lightning and the thunder. Thunder, thunder, feel the thunder. Lightning and the thunder, 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 thunder. And I also got their mascara, which I tried and it's super basic. I forgot to put this up online for you guys when I tested it, but I will make sure to do that so you can see what it's all about. Literally nothing to write home about. Benefit by far is my favorite of all the mascaras. I use both Roller Lash and Bad Gal Bang. I have not found a mascara that I prefer to use just yet, other than maybe Lash Paradise. Either way, I've gotten those so far. I got one other product from them forever ago. Maybe it was even a year ago at this point, but I'm not gonna complain about eye masks because you guys know your girl's got some panda raccoon situation going on up here. So anything that is an eye treatment that will help with dark circles and sometimes depuffing, mama's gonna want and mama's gonna try. Okay guys, I feel two more things in here. I feel one thing that feels like a small palette and one that feels like it feels like eyelashes. I mean, I can't feel the lashes, but the box itself feels like it could be an eyelash box. So let's pull that out. Let's save the big one for last, like you guys know I like to do. <laughs> the big one. But let's go ahead and pull out this box and see if I was right. Yes, I was. It's lash. Ooh, ooh, it's House of Lashes. Excellent. Yes. What style are you? These are the House of Lashes lashes in the style Temptress. You guys know I generally don't wear falsies, but when I do, I like them to be nice and fluffy and almost a little bit beyond natural but not insane looking. These look like they're gonna be really, really pretty. They're very fluffy looking. There's a clear band. Thank you, Jesus. So it's not gonna show up on your eye. You guys know, a big old black strip going across does not look cute on anybody. So I'm really excited to try these out too. I kinda don't wanna put them on right now because I've already got mascara on, but I will make sure to take a picture with these on too and you guys let me know what you think. And maybe if I really love these, your girl's gonna be switching from Ardell to H-O-L. Just saying. What is the last item in this boxy charm? What could it possibly be? Only one way to know. It could be some makeup or maybe some skincare. It might be a scrunchie for my hair. Let's dive in and find out what this last product is. Super excited. What do we have here? I'm gonna get some hate for this, I just feel it right now. First, I'm gonna say I'm not upset about receiving this product. This is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Eyeshadow Palette. I feel like the reason I'm gonna get hate on this, you guys, is not gonna be because I don't like the palette. We're gonna try it out. We also got the Laura Lee Party Animal Eyeshadow Palette, these colors right here. The more I inspect them and look at them, you guys, the more I dislike them. The pink and the purple are both supposed to be glittery, sparkly, something, and there is no shine, no nothing. They all just look completely matte to me, so that one's a bust as well. Definitely just get the Urban Decay Electric Palette instead if you're looking for colors like that and move it on. Well, you guys, sadly, that is everything that I got in my BoxyCharm this month for August. Sadness. What did you guys think? Did you guys like all the products that I got? Do you think that I'm being a little hard on some of them? I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like I'm being a little extra salty when I don't need to. That's just how I'm feeling. Maybe I was too hyped up and saw this stuff and was like, meh. Still definitely worth the 20 bucks I paid for this box by far, but 
this month is kind of meh for me with Foxy Charm. What happened? I don't know. Make sure you guys leave your comments down below letting me know what you think. Make sure you stay subscribed and stay tuned so you can see all of my future unboxings, Harry Potter videos, etc, etc, etc. And I will see all of you beautiful people in the next video. Bye!